Morning everybody and welcome back to LTV's What Even Is and today we're going to be asking what even is Downwell? Downwell is another roguelike kind of game but it's like fast paced and actiony and crazy and but at the same time kind of simplistic there's not a great deal of power ups um, and there's not a great deal of synergies there's not loads and loads and loads of complex mechanics going on but it's really hard and a whole lot of fun to play and the main gimmick is that you have gun boots. Uh, you can change your styles. I haven't played it a whole lot. I did play it a little bit a while ago and it's like super cheap on Steam. I think it was like £2 or something on Steam when I picked it up. And it's really good. I think it's by Devolver Digital. I can't quite remember. But I'm pretty certain it's by Devolver Digital. Um, I haven't tried any of the other styles because I just like the standard. Oh, my mouse is on screen. That's bad. Sorry, I don't even know if my mouse actually shows up on recordings, but my mouse is on the screen. So I may have panicked for no reason. Um, but yeah, I like the standard style. And the main gimmick is that you move downwards through the levels, as if you were travelling down a well, like I've just jumped down a well, as you saw me right there, and hence the name down well. And you have gun boots, and the gun boots act kind of like a, d a double jump kind of thing, but they don't really keep you, they don't really make you go upwards, they just keep you afloat a little bit. But they also work as your form of attack. It's probably better to show than than tell in this situation, I guess. I think that might be a tiny little bit loud. Does okay. That'll that'll have to do, I think. Okay, so you'll see there are many different types of enemies. The ones that have white on their back, it's perfectly safe to jump directly onto their back without actually shooting. And you can just use the shoot to keep yourself afloat and rack up combos which deal more, not deal more damage, sorry, but rack up more money. Triple shot. So triple shot would be one of one of the power-ups that you do find in this. Like I said, there aren't a whole lot of power-ups, but the idea is to try and keep yourself from hitting the ground as much as possible ah, and chain together as many kills as you possibly can without dying. And it's incredibly hard and incredibly fast-paced, but a whole lot of fun. You can wall jump as well, but I find wall jump really, really hard to do. Like, insanely hard to do. Oh, I did one right there. So it, it can be done, but it'll be very rare that I actually use the wall jump. And that's the first level complete. Rare that I do that. And in between levels you get to upgrade your character a little bit. Gem high lasts for a longer duration. I don't even know what gem high is. I can't remember. Suck in nearby gems. Increase range plus increase accuracy. Ooh. We'll go with the laser sight. Laser sight sounds pretty cool. Okay, I do quite like the laser sight. Because then I can see exactly what I'm aiming at, where I'm going to land, and all that jazz. And as you can see, I'm not all that good at racking together combos or anything like that. I have seen videos of people that are insanely good at this game, and I don't know how anybody has the reflexes to do such a thing. They can clear the entire game without hitting the floor once and without taking any damage and it is incredible. Oh yeah, um, you have limited ammo in your gun boots. As you can see at the right hand side is my ammo gauge. Every time you land your ammo will refill and I'm dead. Every time you land your ammo refills and every time you land on an enemy your ammo refills I think. So to if you kill an enemy, you get more ammo, which keeps you afloat for longer, because then you can keep shooting, so therefore you can link together more kills, like so, to rack up more points. But it's so incredibly fast paced. The laser I'm not a huge fan of, because whilst it's good and you can kill things quite easily, you don't get anywhere near enough shots. It is really, really powerful, but it's just not for me. I can't do it. 
Oh, you don't land on the red guys, because... Ow. And the guys with the white backs, if you don't actually land on the white part of them, they will still damage you. This game is a lot of fun. A lot, a lot of fun. But sadly for me, it didn't last a whole lot of time because it is really, really hard. I expected to enjoy it a lot more than I did, but the fact that I can't actually do it because it is that fast and my reflexes just aren't quite quick enough, I did get bored of it quicker than quicker than most would. But getting gems causes a bullet to shoot up. That could be good. Getting gems recharges gun boots. That could be better. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. So yeah, a lot of you guys out there will probably find it a hell of a lot more fun than I do because you'll actually be able to win at the game. Whereas I really can't because they suck. Okay, and you do find shops every now and again. I like to buy charge because then you get more shots. I don't know if that's a good strategy, but that's what I like to do. I should probably buy health because then I survive longer. Because I do take a lot of hits, as I do in every single game that I play ever. As you see right there. And I'm dead again. As you can see, my runs never last long. I don't quite remember what the progress meter does. I know you unlock some things like the styles. Reset the game, I don't really. Oh, yeah. So you unlock more styles. Um, but you also unlock palette things, I think. But some of these really, really mess with my mind. So I just like to stick to the default down well one. And the thing at the side. The sort of little background thing I think you can turn off or change as well, but I can't quite remember how. But anyway, you'll be able to figure that out for yourself! I think a lot of the people that like do really good at this game and speedrun it and stuff like that, I think they just use the default guns as well, which is crazy. I just can't do it. And there is a boss! I don't know if there's more than one boss, but I know that there is definitely at least a boss that looks insanely difficult. You need some mad reflexes to even get close to killing the boss. Because there's like no platforms or anything to land on. I think you just get tiny little things to bounce off of every now and again. And it's just mad. I think the furthest I've ever been is like the third floor or something, I think. Jetpack for use when out of charge. A drone. Shooting dead bodies. We'll go for a drone. I don't know what a drone does, but we'll go for one of them. Could be cool. Oh, so the drone just shoots when I shoot. That's kind of cool. To the shop. What do we got? I can't afford both, but we'll take the double charge thing. And we'll take more damage, because... I suck really bad. Suck all the balls. Oh, and I'm dead again. And this is repeated for me. I just die over and over and over again. As I expect you guys to do the same as well if you do pick this game up. You will probably die repeatedly and maybe even rage a little bit when you do first start playing the game. But believe me, it does get easier. Even for people like me, it does get a little bit easier. Like, I, I actually did a thing then and did combos and stuff. Oh, why did I pick that up? I don't like the laser. The laser's good for clearing paths. And killing enemies that you don't want to be there, but... Other than that, it's not all that good. And there was a reference to this game in Enter the Gungeon as well. I think they were like the gun boots or something, and the little subtitle for the gun boots were They Go Down Well. Which I thought was quite clever. 
Swamping on enemies causes a blast. Pretty balloon. Shoot gun module to reshuffle it once. Hmm. We'll have a pretty balloon. I don't know what the pretty balloon does, but we'll have a pretty balloon. Does that slow me down a bit? Okay, it did, but I lost it. Kind of feel that that balloon was a bit of a waste. Does it recharge per floor? I don't know. I don't like the look of that thing. Oh, machine gun, that's decent. Also, when you go into these little areas at the side, the sphere shape that I'm in here uh, stops time, which is handy. Helps you remember where you were before you went into the room. So I think the machine gun's possibly... Ah, oh, shit. Not shit, it's decent. I think it's possibly just like a powered up version of the gun that you start with. I don't want the health. Just go for the charge again, I guess. That was a stupid idea. Is that the third floor? The third level? Missile the pieces, drone, gem sick. Go for the drone again. The drone seemed pretty cool again, uh, last time, I think. Oh, so we do get the balloon back at least. So it wasn't a complete waste. It's a shame it didn't last very long though. Oh my word. I don't even know what happened then. What's that? Shotgun, I think I liked, but you don't get enough ammo. But I prefer it to the laser, at least. To the shop. Um, we'll take two charge again. I know that's a bad idea because I'm low on health, but... I think charge is probably the way to go. What do we got in here? Back to the machine gun? Sure. And I think picking up gun modifications gives you health. So it's usually advisable to pick them up, unless you can afford not to. And I'm dead. Unlock the Grandma palette. Okay, so we'll try a different style just to see. Only find good modules, shops are rare. Start with more HP, less upgrade options. Hmm. That's probably the better idea for me. <laughs> that looks ridiculous. <sighs> Laser again. I need to stop picking that up. I also need to stop landing. This game is insanely difficult. Insanely difficult. But so, so much fun. But you're not even going to see half of the game while I'm playing because I suck balls. Rocket jump lift off. Several enemies go to left. Rocket jump, I guess? I don't know what that's going to do for us. Is that it? Okay. Didn't want to kill that. Oh crap. To the shop. What do we got? Battery, car battery. That'll do. Sorry, when I have the laser, we need more charges, definitely. Because the ammo capacity is abysmal. Oh, why did you take a hit? That was going really well. That was going down well. I bet nobody's ever made that joke before. Please just give me a different weapon. Oh, why? Okay, where where are we? One, two. Uh, Stomp around enemies causes a blast, I guess. I don't know how beneficial this is going to be. Oh, that's pretty cool. 
Uh, not when there's that thing there though. Oh yeah, that is pretty cool. Because if if the enemies are on destructibles, it will just destroy them. And if there's other destructibles about, it will destroy that as well. Oh, that was not good. Shop. What do we got? What do we got? Uh, one HP and one charge. Two charge. That'll have to do. Oh, don't land on the red ones. The red ones are not your friend. Gemifractor, gunpowder blocks, block shot will... That sounds like it could synergize pretty well with what we've got currently. Oh my god, we've actually made it to a different area. Oh, but this has got spiky floor. This is not good. You actually have to use enemies to your advantage on this. I do not have the reflexes to make this level happen. And the levels get worse than this. They get far worse. Which is why I never got very far. I need health. It's expensive, but we'll take it. Why? I'd only just come back out of the shop. That's a real dick move, dude. Oh, why, why, why? Oh, okay, I bought health and it did nothing for us. Okay, well, I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you liked the episode. If you did like the episode, then please hit that like button. It helps out a lot. And if you feel you have something to say, please feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And if you want to see more Binary of Isaac or anything else that I happen to record, such as this series of just random games or anything else that I happen to do a series on, then feel free to subscribe for more content, and I will see you next time.